As you know, I've been taking a look at many of the amendments the opposition parties fought valiantly but in vain to get written into Bill 20, the carbon tax. For me, all these denied amendments are a really great way to explain all the hidden costs and unforeseen damage that everyday Albertans may not realize this carbon tax will bring us. So far, I've looked at the carbon tax on charities and food banks, the carbon tax on greenhouses and local food production, and the carbon tax on rail fuel. Today I bring you the carbon tax on children going to school. Really. An amendment to the carbon tax brought forward by Wild Rose MLA for Rocky View Chestamere, Leela Ahir, sought to exempt school bus transportation from the carbon tax. Watch Leela Ahir explain the costs that will be dumped on the laps of rural communities. Here. The impact of the public board that my constituents are educated through, and again, is estimated at $231,000 for, $231, for the upcoming school year, and $557,000 when it is fully implemented in January 2018. Now this is a direct attack on rural Alberta. Rural Alberta runs on the school bus. It's not uncommon for kids to have a fairly lengthy bus ride to school. In fact, my girls have about a 20 kilometer round trip to school every day and my son's school bus ride is even longer. And taxing the school buses is punitive to school boards and parents in rural Alberta. Either busing fees will just have to go up in rural communities or programs and staffing will need to be cut because that money has to come from somewhere. There are just no other ways to find that money. These urban decision makers don't have a clue or just don't care about rural Alberta. That's pretty clear. Just watch NDP MLA Robin Luff and her reasoning for taxing kids going to school. Here. Children want this. They want us to do something about it. They're passionate about it. They care about it. There is no one who cares about it more. There is no one who wants this more. They're taxing your kids because your kids want them to tax them, you guys. Watching the legislature live feed is pretty boring sometimes for even me and I like this kind of stuff, but when I saw that, I did laugh out loud. For example, my daughter wants a new trampoline and she also wants to grow up to be Rapunzel. Now, I need new tires on my truck, so the old trampoline that we have is just going to have to be good enough for now. This is the reason why my husband and I make all the financial decisions for our family and not our children. According to the NDP though and Robin Luff, the wants of the immature mind of my seven-year-old is something to draft government policy around. Is it any wonder why the NDP can't handle money? They think like little kids. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.